are there certain cancers do they respond better to, to natural treatments or do you kind of agree that natural treatment should be an adjunct to or a part of any other treatment that you're doing? Well, I mean, I think that all treatment should be natural and with rare exceptions, I mean, maybe you should do the unnatural ones if the natural ones don't work. But I think the statistics are there that the conventional um, chemotherapy and radiation treatments don't really work and to the degree that they work in the short term, they don't really kill the cancer stem cells and therefore it comes back later with a vengeance. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty much, uh, again with rare exceptions, there are certain situations where it is appropriate, but uh, I'm, not a, I'm not really a big fan of uh, chemo. Now there was this one patient of mine, uh, she was a long-term patient of mine, an advocate uh, for cannabis for years, and she came down with advanced cancer. And she was doing the cannabis oil, and uh, she, she went to the person who was otherwise growing for her normally and said, look, I heard that there's some type of cannabis preparation that's curing people of cancer. Will you figure it out and give it to me? <laughs> so he did, and, um, and at first it wasn't working. And so her son, who would ordinarily you wouldn't think would say this, said, Mom, you've got to do chemo or you're going to die. So she did the chemo, but it was one of those situations where the oncologist would say, look, we're not expecting this to cure you. It's going to add a few months to your life, yeah. right? So, but she does the chemo. She continues taking the oil. And then sure enough, she goes into remission. Mm -hmm. And now five years later, she's still in remission. And so this was a case where she did need a little help of the chemo. Now, many of the other people using the cannabis oils will use some of the other things here at the convention and changing their diet. Uh, a gal that I know who became a patient of mine after this, but she had a really the ugliest melanoma you could ever imagine on her arm. And she did a kind of a Rick Simpson-ish type of oil that was a one-to-one -one ratio, but in high amounts of both THC and CBD. And she put it on topically and took it orally. But she changed her diet, and she changed her mind. And um, I'm sure she took some nutritional supplements. And she got well. It took her about six months. And now, years later, she continues to be well. And the interesting thing is both her and the gentleman that made the oil for the first lady that I mentioned, once they see it either on themselves or somebody else, they go, oh, wow, this is amazing. Let's do it for more people. Mm -hmm. So I have quite a few patients who, after one experience either on themselves or a relative, are now getting it out there. So it's really, you can call it a grassroots program. Mm -hmm. <laughs>